In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct a basic subject search in PubMed. You'll want to be as specific as possible with your search terms to find the most relevant articles. Let's say our research question is, how does compassion fatigue among pediatric intensive care nurses impact patient care? Let's pull out our main ideas from this research question to use as search terms. I'm going to start with compassion fatigue. And I'm going to put those words in quotation marks so that PubMed will only retrieve articles that have those two words together. I don't want to see every article that talks about just compassion or just fatigue. I want to learn specifically about compassion fatigue. My research question is also about the PQ, so I'm going to add that as well. And just like compassion fatigue, and for the same reasons, I'm going to include that search phrase in quotation marks. All right, I'm also going to combine those two search phrases with the word and, and the word and is going to tell PubMed that I only want to see results that include both of these phrases. All right, I'm gonna hit search. And you can see our number of search results here. And I just realized that I left out an important part of our research question, which was that this is specific to nursing. So we're not interested in seeing um, information about pediatric intensive care physicians or other staff. We're more concerned with the profession of nursing. So let's add that as well. And when we think about nursing, there are a number of different ways that an author of an article might describe that. They might put nurses, nursing, or just nurse. So I'm going to use the asterisk symbol, which is going to um, truncate the word for us. Truncation allows you to search the root form of a word um, with all of its different endings. So by putting the asterisk here just after the S, I'm gonna pull out any results that have any iteration of the word nurse, essentially. All right, so I'm gonna hit search. And you can see it's cut down our search results because we have made our search specific to nursing. And then with this search result number, I wouldn't mess with the filters over here on the left-hand side, but with your specific subject terms or search topic, you may see results in the hundreds or even thousands. And in that case, you would either want to add some more search terms or mess around with these filters. Um, popular filters, depending on your topic, would be the date. So for this one, we could pull it forward to, let's say 2015. And then other things are the different article types. So maybe you just want to see a clinical trial on your topic or even a systematic review. You can limit your results to just see those things. Um, if you click on additional filters, you'll see that there are even more. You can, again, different types of studies or um, articles that you can look at or even things like filtering by age or gender if you'd like. All right, again, I'm not worried about any of those for my particular topic. So instead, what I typically do is scroll through to find a title that looks relevant for my, for my topic. I'm gonna use this first one here as an example. By clicking on the title, I'm taken into the article record. You can see I've got all of my citation information here at the top, the journal that's published in, Critical Care Nursing Journal from 2015. I've got all of my authors listed here, and of course the article title. And then I've got the abstract um, or summary of the article. It's often useful to scan through this or read it to make sure that this article is actually relevant to your needs. All right, so I've decided reading through the abstract that I do want to pursue the full text of that, and you'll find links to the full text over here on the right-hand side. Based on our library subscriptions and the potential for open access, the articles you find may or may not be immediately available. In this case, we can click on the full text link and read it right away. But again, if the article is not available or these links aren't working, you can request it through interlibrary loan, and the library will email you a copy. All right, other things that might be useful from our article record are the similar articles or related articles that PubMed has pulled out down here at the bottom based on your search terms. And then also the MeSH terms, so the medical subject headings that have been assigned to this article by PubMed. Clicking on any of these are gonna take you to things like quality of life, psychology, um, critical care nursing, all of those things. All right. That was a basic overview of subject searching in PubMed. Hopefully that was useful. If you have any questions, please reach out to a librarian.